process of preparing for and collecting your breath samples is easy. When you open up your kit, you will see that it contains a breath collection kit, along with 10 collection vials, tubes and labels, and either a sachet of lactulose or glucose, depending on your order. You will also receive instructions for the prep diet and instructions for collecting the breath samples, along with a requisition form and a breath symptom tracking document for you to fill in and share with your practitioner or consultant. Your kit will come with a pre-addressed envelope for posting the samples back or if selected when ordering information about your courier collection. The smart SIBO test cannot be done for two weeks after colonoscopy, two weeks after taking antibiotics or natural antimicrobials such as garlic and oregano or if you currently have diarrhoea. You need to stop taking probiotics, digestive enzymes, stomach acid and laxatives before you do the test, but please do not stop any medication. On the day before the test, it is important that you follow the PrEP diet correctly. However, if you are constipated, you need to follow the diet for two days. You will get some clear instructions with guidelines about food ideas about what you can eat on the PrEP diet. An example might be scrambled egg and parmesan cheese or chicken or fish with white rice. You will then need to fast overnight before doing the test, but you can drink water at this time. Please note you cannot smoke for one hour before and during the test and you also need to avoid heavy exercise or sleeping whilst doing the test. When you are ready to start, please lay out all of the contents of the kit and also get a glass of still drinking water and a mixing spoon. We also advise you gather a clock or timer so that you can follow the correct timing sequence for the test. Collecting your first breath sample is done before you drink your solution of lactulose or glucose. Please hold the easy sampler in one hand and tube number one in the other hand. Take a normal breath in through the nose, close your mouth around the mouthpiece and blow out normally. Keep blowing, you may notice there is a tiny hole in the blue bag which is supposed to be there. Please do not seal this up or block this. While the blue bag is inflated, press the tube all the way into the needle holder, ensuring the white rubber stopper is punctured by the needle. Continue to blow until after you have removed the tube from the holder, and once the vial is removed, you can now stop blowing and the bag can deflate. Complete the first of your 10 labels, Fill in your name, date, time of collection and sample number. Please attach the label to the tube straight away to avoid confusion. Also fill your sample time and report any symptoms on the breath tracker symptom document and set the tube aside. After you've collected your baseline control sample, you need to mix and drink the lactulose or glucose solution, then wait 20 minutes before your next breath sample. Continue to collect samples every 20 minutes until all of the tubes are used up. This will take three hours. Be sure to write the date and time on the labels as you go along and attach to the tubes. There are some things you should avoid doing when collecting your samples. Do not tape up the hole in the bag and don't remove the grey rubber shield on the needle. Avoid taking a deep breath and don't blow out hard. Do not hyperventilate nor should you expect to see condensation in the collection vial, it will remain clear. After you've collected all of your samples, put the test tubes in the bubble bags provided and place them in the kit box along with a signed and completed requisition form. Seal the box with tape and return it to the lab. Samples need to be received at the lab no later than seven days after the sample collection and your results will be ready in 10 working days after they have arrived at the lab. You will receive your results via email or post, whichever you opted for when ordering, and you will also receive an interpretation guide and a comment telling you if your results are negative or positive. Should you need help with SIBO, we have a list of experienced and qualified practitioners we are happy to recommend. I hope that is clear, but do also read your instructions carefully, and if you have any questions about the Smart SIBO test, then please do get in touch as we're happy to help.